Have I tried Midwest? Um, so I'm assuming when you say Midwest, you're talking about Middle West right here. Um, this was a bottle I picked up on a bourbon hunting video. And so what we're thinking about doing with the bourbon hunting videos is when I go bourbon hunting, one of the things we had considered doing was actually waiting or like trying them at the end of the, the video. So when I buy it on a bourbon hunt at the end of the video, I try it, I give you a review, I taste it, whatever. Those videos were getting way too long. And um, nobody, like once I started tasting whiskey, everybody bailed. They wanted to see me buying whiskey. They didn't want to see me tasting whiskey. So we decided to start holding these until um, that video came out. And then in the live stream, the Monday following, so the video come out on Friday. And then the Monday following, we would actually try the whiskey. This one, I don't even know where I bought this. I don't, I'm assuming this was... Nashville or something like that. Um, but I bought this somewhere and I've been holding on to it. Like someday I'm actually going to try it. But unfortunately it's taking a while to get videos out. So I d give me, do you have like the little, um, you see over there next to the Buffalo, there should be like an opener. Cause I don't have the fingernails to get under this. Like this um, thing? No. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that. that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Got a little knife on it. Um, so I don't know if I was supposed to be holding this. Now I'm holding the Orlando. So probably the Orlando will probably be the first one that we do like this. So I've got all the stuff we bought in Orlando. This one, I don't even know where I picked it up. I just know it's been sitting on the bar for hmm. weeks and weeks and weeks at this point. Um, so it's worth giving a try. This is Middle West Spirits Straight Weeded Bourbon Whiskey. And it says it's a Michelin One Reserve. I don't know if that means something to somebody, but it means nothing to me. <laughs> Smooth, full-bodied, four-grain, small-batch craft, handcrafted in the heart of the Ohio River Valley. Mm. Well, that's I don't think I bought this in Ohio, though. It's a... It's a I was just up bottle. in Dayton. I don't think I bought this in Ohio. Let's give it a try. Get, get a fresh Glen for that one. I need to come back to this when we have not drank so much high-proof whiskey because there's nothing off-putting about this whatsoever, but at the same time, um, there's nothing really distinctive or unique about it either. We're a team. They love us as a pair. See? We're not getting up, dude. We've been we've been stuck together for like twenty five years at this point. It's this is a life situation, whether we want it or not. Big baby brain. <laughs> Baker Seven's fantastic. Um, so like, I, there's there's nothing bad about this, but there's nothing that just really captures my imagination either. But at the same time, we've drank a lot of high proof stuff, so I'll have to come back to this when that is not the case. 